to our multicultural spotlight now and a growing call for action over a controversial comment during a commencement speech. Asian organi organizations say the apology from Purdue Northwest Chancellor for a mocking Asian language is not enough. They reached out to News 8's Tara Winfrey. Video Asian advocates say is casual racism, and although it may seem small, the implications have far-reaching consequences, and they say for it to have come from a person of power, a respectable university just adds to it. Well, all I can say is, hi <laughs> Purdue Northwest Chancellor Thomas Keon in just five seconds, Asian advocates say, is an example of racism through linguistic mockery. When I first saw the video, it was not just the words, but the how he uh, acted out. It is also such an outrageous action. It's racist, but it's also juvenile. Feedback swiftly rolled in as the video from the December 10th graduation made its rounds on social media. Days later, the outrage grows. Melissa Borja is co-chair of Nepal, Indiana, an Asian and Pacific Islander advocacy organization. The type of mock Asian language that the chancellor used on stage is the type of language that was often used in attacks targeting Asian and Asian American people over the past couple years. She helped write a response condemning Chancellor Keon's words. And that white supremacy allows acts of casual racism and very public racism often enacted by people in power. He apologized, saying, I made a mistake, adding that he didn't mean to be hurtful. The Purdue Board of Trustees accepted his apology, but many say it's not enough. Uh, a, a chancellor can make today a comment about um, Asians. I wouldn't be surprised tomorrow he's making such comments about women, probably any brown and black people. Rupal Thanwala is president of the Asian American Alliance and says there needs to be actual repercussions. And she says simply tacking on more diversity training won't be enough either, saying it's really important to fight these types of acts. Well, it's not a meaningless joke. And it's important to always call it out. A petition is going around right now calling for Keon's resignation. I have reached out to the university and am waiting to hear back. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.